whether or not you have gingivitis, we'll perform a thorough examination. We'll look for any changes in gums shape, color and contour, and bleeding in the gums upon probing. If we determine that you do have gingivitis, treatment always includes a professional cleaning, which removes plaque from teeth, as well as a consistent home care regime and a revisit schedule. In some cases, additional steps are required, which could include using a disclosing solution to determine where the plaque is, a review of the proper use of a manual or electric toothbrush, the use of dental floss to clean between teeth, and using an antibacterial rinse to help kill destructive bacteria. It's important to catch and treat gingivitis early before it progresses and results in the bone loss of periodontal disease. If you have a history of periodontal disease, it's vital that we keep a close eye on the health of your gums so we can prevent a recurrence of this destructive infection. But if you've been treated for periodontal disease, why should you worry about recurrence? Because periodontal disease cannot be cured, it can only be controlled. And if it isn't closely monitored and controlled, over time, periodontal disease can eventually cause you to lose your teeth. Usually, if we're concerned about the depth of your periodontal pockets, we'll recommend periodontal therapy called scaling and root planing to remove contamination and infection from beneath your gums. Following this treatment, we'll have you come to see us every few months for ongoing care, which may include x-rays, a reevaluation of your periodontal health and the effectiveness of your home care, removal of plaque above and beneath the gum line, and retreatment with scaling and root planing if necessary. These frequent checkups are vital to the process of controlling your periodontal disease. It's important that you know that periodontal disease is site-specific. What this means is that you may experience a flare-up of the infection in just one periodontal pocket out of the possible 192 that exist in your mouth, and bone and tissue loss might occur in only this isolated area, or it might be more widespread. Consequently, if we aren't checking regularly for this type of damage or change in your gums, you would have no way of knowing that it's occurring, and the destruction would continue unchecked. After we've treated your periodontal disease by removing plaque from above and below your gum line, we've disrupted the growth of bacteria. Still, some do remain, and these may settle back into the pocket and once again begin the process of repopulating and destroying bone and soft tissue. In as little as 90 days, the bacteria can reach destructive levels once again. Because of the episodic nature of periodontal disease, and in light of the fact that periodontal disease can reestablish itself in as little as 90 days, the typical six-month recare appointment just isn't advisable for those who have periodontal disease. Statistics support that reevaluation and recare is critical at least every three or four months. More frequent visits are a vital step in maintaining your oral health. They help us break the stronghold of bacteria in your gums, minimize the recurrence of the infection, and slow or eliminate its destructive effects. One-third of the American population is affected by periodontal disease, a chronic bacterial infection of the gums, teeth, and bone that surround the teeth. Periodontal disease occurs when bacteria build up on your teeth and gums, causing your gums to become red and swollen. Left untreated, this condition, known as inflammation, eventually results in damage to the ligaments and bone that hold your teeth in place. This damage causes pockets to form around your teeth, and as the disease progresses and the pockets deepen, your teeth can become loose and fall out. In addition, periodontal disease has been linked to other serious health problems such as cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, and diabetes. Fortunately, we now have a new effective treatment that helps us control periodontal disease and its destructive effects. It's called Arrestin and it's used in conjunction with scaling and root planing therapy to reduce the number of harmful bacteria in your periodontal pockets and restore the area to health. This is a cartridge filled with Arrestin, an antibiotic in powder form. We painlessly insert the powder into your periodontal pocket, where it combines with moisture in your mouth and adheres immediately to the infected gum tissue. The individual powder particles, called microspheres, release a controlled, steady flow of the active ingredient minocycline, a potent antibiotic. As a result of the sustained release process, Arrestin works to fight your periodontal infection for at least 21 days. When used together with scaling and root planing, Arrestin significantly reduces the depth of the infected pockets and helps to prevent the progression of the disease. 
Arrestin has also been shown to be effective even in the most difficult to treat cases of periodontal disease, such as that experienced by smokers or those with cardiovascular disease. However, Arrestin's active ingredient is in the tetracycline family, so we won't use it to treat your infection if you are allergic to tetracycline or if you're pregnant or nursing. Periodontal disease is chronic, which means it can persist for a long time and may never be cured. That's why it's vital that we treat it aggressively so we can keep it under control. Arrestin is an important part of the overall periodontal therapy program that we have designed for you to prevent further destruction of bone and connective tissue and restore health to your gums. Tens of millions of Americans suffer from periodontal disease, which affects the gums, teeth, and bone that surround the teeth. Periodontal disease begins with a bacterial infection. As the infection grows, your immune system is triggered to produce white blood cells to fight it. Unfortunately, as they fight the infection, the white blood cells also release enzymes that destroy the soft tissue and bone that hold your teeth in place. As a result, your teeth may become loose, and if left untreated, this destruction of supporting bone will eventually lead to tooth loss. Fortunately, there is an effective treatment called Atrodox that we can use to fight the bacterial source of periodontal disease and its destructive effects. This is Atrodox. It's an antimicrobial gel containing the broad-spectrum antibiotic, doxycycline. We apply Atrodox directly to the infected spaces between your teeth and gums. It then flows deeply into the periodontal pocket, where it hardens to a wax-like substance. As it sits in the pocket, it releases the antibiotic over a seven-day period. During this time, the antibiotic attacks the bacteria that are causing your periodontal infection, dramatically reducing their numbers. Treating your periodontal infection with Atrodox is quick and completely comfortable, and the waxy plug is absorbed by your body, so you won't need to come in and have us remove it. Scaling and root planing treatment is not necessary with each application of Atrodox but we'll still use these treatments as needed to keep your periodontal disease under control. You'll also need to be thorough and consistent with your daily oral hygiene and come to see us regularly for an exam and a cleaning to keep the infection in check. The active ingredient in Atrodox is in the tetracycline class of drugs, so it's not an option for you if you are allergic to drugs in the tetracycline family. Also, if you're pregnant or nursing, we won't use Atrodox to treat your periodontal infection as tetracycline use can cause permanent tooth discoloration in your unborn baby. You should be aware that Atrodox is not a cure for periodontal disease, and once bone loss has occurred, no medication will bring it back. However, Atrodox is an effective additional method for us to use to help eradicate bacterial infection and prevent further destruction of bone and connective tissue. If you are diabetic, you're at a greater risk of suffering from oral infections and diseases, including periodontal disease. Why? Because diabetes frequently causes blood vessels to thicken and become less elastic, which decreases the flow of oxygen and nutrients to the body's tissues, and slows the removal of harmful wastes. This can weaken your mouth's resistance to infection. Also, the harmful bacteria in your mouth that are responsible for periodontal disease thrive on sugars, including glucose, the sugar linked to diabetes. If diabetes isn't controlled properly, high glucose levels in your saliva feed these bacteria and set the stage for gum disease. And interestingly, the reverse is also